Today, we will talk about Acceptable Quality Level, AQL. Acceptable Quality Level is a measure used to determine the level of quality that is considered tolerable for a product. It tells us how many defective components are acceptable during random sampling quality inspections, usually expressed as a percentage or ratio of defects to the total quantity. Acceptable quality level works by testing goods in a sample at random, and if the number of defective items is below the predetermined amount, the product meets the AQL. For example, if a production run has an AQL of 1% and is composed of 1,000 products, only 10 products can be defective. If 11 products are defective, the entire batch is scrapped, which is known as the rejectable quality level, RQL. AQL is important for companies seeking a level of quality control known as Six Sigma. The AQL of a product can vary from industry to industry. For example, medical products have more stringent AQL due to health risks, while products with less severe consequences for defects may have a less strict AQL. AQL standards are usually set based on factors related to business, financial, and safety concerns. AQL tables are used to reference a standard for the acceptable number of defects in manufacturing. They allow a person to see how many defects are allowed for a company to achieve a certain AQL. For example, if a company orders 30,000 hats with agreed AQLs for defects, referencing the AQL tables would help determine how many hats need to be inspected to ensure the AQL is being met. Defects are instances of failure to meet customer quality requirements and are categorized as either acceptable quality level, rejectable quality level, RQL, or indifference quality level, IQL. Buyers and sellers agree on an AQL standard appropriate to the level of risk each party assumes. To calculate AQL, the lot or batch size, inspection type, inspection level, and desired AQL are needed. There are AQL calculators available online to assist with these calculations. An AQL of 2.5 means that only 2.5% of an order can be defective to be considered acceptable. If more than 2.5% of the order is defective, it doesn't meet the agreement between the buyer and producer. AQL depends on the product and industry, with no standard AQL. AQL is useful for ensuring that large production orders meet the quality standards demanded by buyers. It helps maintain efficiency in production while meeting the standards set by the buyer and is commonly used in large-scale manufacturing orders. Here are two key takeaways. One, the acceptable quality level, AQL, is the worst quality level tolerable for a product. Two, AQL differs from product to product, with products that pose health risks having a lower AQL. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.